ladies and gents, boys and girls, that voice you're hearing is none other than the former Pittsburgh Steeler, the former West Virginia Mountaineer, almost heaven, one half of the locker mates, and more importantly, my mother freaking locker mate, we talking about Terrence Garvin, a.k.a. T.G. And dog, we done brought in some West Virginia Mountaineers, man, we done brought in the Mountaineers, man. Did you see? West Virginia. Mount Mama. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Man, I thought the Steelers killed the draft. No, facts. Like, yeah, Are we your team this year, TJ? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You say, you know you be flip-flopping, man. We we up you back with the Jets this year. Or, or where your alliances are, man. It sounded like it in the group message. It did. It, it low-key did. The, the I'm sure you're willing to use us uh, as a team on Madden now, too. Yeah. Yeah, they're my Madden team for sure. <laughs> well, you can't do that, though. They're my Madden team. <laughs> they're my Madden team for sure, though. It's all there. It's all there. No, this is facts. This is definitely facts. Yeah, Madden style. It's all there. Like, whatever you need. TJ, you got to be the Ravens, though, because the Steelers are my squad. <laughs> You were Jets. I think you were Ravens for a minute, too. We still have to play, I guess, right? Hey, you said TG still ducking you or you ducking yeah. him? Who ducking who, man? Been well, I've been playing years, Madden. Dude. That's that's my problem. If I hop back on the sticks, maybe we can arrange the matchup. I haven't played Madden in like seven months. He's been ducking me for a long time. All right, you know how it is, man. As long as you never had a matchup, you could always talk bad. Once you had that matchup, now we kind of lose out on the speculation. It becomes facts. It's like, oh, all right, you're not like that, or you are like that. Chad, yeah, man. But uh, you know we got to get this thing going because um, we was reacting to the draft. And shout out to Deke, but he did bring it to my attention that it hasn't been a lot of West Virginia players drafted to the Pittsburgh Steelers. And, you know, he had his his reasoning. He felt like it's because y'all been trash. That was what he said. But, you know, we I just wanted to get your thoughts on, on Zach Frazier first off. And then, you know, we, we can talk about Benny and then we go into the draft draft as a whole. But specifically, your West Virginia guys, now that, in the words of Deke, y'all back getting drafted again. You know, how you feeling now? No, oh, man. Yeah. I mean, I think Frazier's just the outlier, really. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Who else got drafted by West Virginia this year outside of him? He been at y'all, bro. He been at y'all, y'all talent. Lady, Even last bro. year, wasn't <laughs> the first pick like a six round? The, six, uh, the receiver, right? The six round? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who was Pace? Uh, this year was a little down year, but we still had three well, guys drafted. Yeah, you, you had to tackle. Uh, Gon- yeah. Gon- Gon- we, we actually probably had yeah. more guys drafted. We had more quantity than West Virginia. Because who got drafted outside of Frazier? We had Bub Means, Gon Clavis, and uh, Devonshire. Where did Devonshire go? I missed that. Saints, Raiders, one of those two think, teams. But I think uh, Beanie Bishop was just like a draft pick, though. You the, the, know what I mean? This is, I, I like what you did there. He, he counts for a draft pick. That counts. I, I, I like what, what you did. He's the first pick of the undrafted free agents. So, yeah. yeah. Like, that was just like a draft pick. Yeah. Like, that was like I get exactly what you said. It's like a conditional you know, seven. It's definitely because yeah, you're just naming anything over there, too. Yeah. So <laughs> I told you it's a down year, but we still have three guys drafted. <laughs> that boy said you just named it anything. We put out pro there, prospects man. every year. <laughs> Yo, y'all funny, man. Every year, you, I mean, you could set that, take it to the bank, and <sighs> if you had to bet, like, all right, Pitt, they're going to have two or three prospects drafted. That's every year. Yeah, this was just bro. one of those years we didn't have a first rounder. That's all. Yeah, he said, he said y'all surprised him. Yeah, Frazier, he must have been a transfer from Pitt. That's what he said, bro. <laughs> no, man. I think I don't, because I mean that's an interesting take. Like, well, you know, but I think <laughs> what? What's so interesting about it? <laughs> Get him off you, TG. Get him, Get him off you, bro. Get him off you. Get him off you. Drafted the Pittsburgh. I don't really know what that is. Like, you're in the room. You're in the building. Literally connected to the. <laughs> To the team, and he don't. It, it's not a lot of y'all that go that go also, you know. That's because they so. go off the board before we get we draft. We we typically well, I mean, draft late. Yeah, we got like guys like had... Kalaja Kansi, Aaron Donald. They they go early. Yeah, I was gonna say something because then I was like, who have you had? And then I was like, well, I guess <laughs> he, 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 he dropped the he ball, boy. You, <laughs> Darrell Revis. We, we would have loved <laughs> to have Darrell Revis. We talking about decades ago. Though. What are we talking about? <laughs> 
Rufus was years ago. Rufus was before me. Like, my, my, man, my man said, yo, we got collage of Cassie. We got Ugh. AD. You ever heard of Aaron Donald? Like, yeah, God, I went, I drop the nuke on him then. Candy's a dog. Candy's a dog. Yo. A dog. yo. But, like, no, it's not like that right there. Like, that building is, you know. Kenny. Kenny was a first rounder. First rounder. Yeah. First rounder. James Cohen. And I mean, what are we what are we talking about? Don't do, that. Don't, don't do that. 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 Stop. 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 Don't do that. What? <laughs> like that's gonna go down as a hit. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, bro. Don't do that. That's like are we doing that? Like, don't do that, man. Just let let it live. Let, uh, not let a it bad live. pick. Just let it it live, was bro. a bad coordinator we had here. Just, just let it live, bro. Just like, let it live, bro. Just let it live. That's the guy past like, you know, <laughs> like, come on. I don't think I don't think none of them quarterbacks from that class would have been in the top six of this one right here. Well, well, that's that's they just they was looking at it backwards. They meant to just go Purdy first. You feel me? If they would went Purdy first, then you wouldn't be saying that. You'd be like, "Yo, you taking Purdy over Drake May?" Man, I don't know. It was historically <laughs> bad, you know. So it's like you're talking, but it's like I mean, you're part of history. Like I don't see nothing that's like we won't go into that it's not a lot that comes from over there we won't go into that Pitt? I think it's a lot of talent over there no we I don't we, we had this conversation no, 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 when no, you no, were no. here we got DeMar we got DeMar Hamlin as well Pitt shout out to West DeMar Virginia. it's not shout even close in terms of show pro prospects they get knocks on them because they seem like bad decision makers because they went to that school for a jump you know mm. it's like ah mm. I don't know if this is a good decision. Gotcha. Maker. You can't trust this guy. Ah, yeah, can I trust him? He said going to Pitt is like a character issue. Is what he's saying. Yeah, yeah he's know, like, that's a red flag right there. He went to Pitt. Whoa, you, you why is it a red flag? People... He said, you get, "Yeah, man, you got bad judgment." Yeah, he said they reckless. If you if you willing to sign to Pitt, that's what he's saying. You remember for a minute when it was not uh, bad judgment at all. Like, if you want to go pro, go Pitt. Oof. Talk, What's talk. What you remember was like Eastern Kentucky or not Eastern Kentucky, Eastern uh. Ah, what school did Chris Johnson go to? Mm. Oh, East Carolina. Carolina. ECU. East Carolina. Yeah. You remember that was the spot of light. Bro, you they know, had a little like, run. It was it was CJ. Yeah. It was Garage. It was a couple cats that came from there that time. Yeah. But it was a spot of light. Like, all right, you kind of just, you could go there. You could go there as a prop. Like, you didn't have to be the smartest to go yeah. there. Like, but, like, that's like what, like, the, the pigs, like, it's like. <laughs> Come on! Wait, 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 wait! Now we're getting into the epi- the academics. Pitt is like <laughs> Pitt versus West Virginia. Yo, this isn't even a conversation. Wow! You could just walk up wow. to West Virginia and knock on the door; they'll let you in. Come on! Like, you, you can go here. Like, you know, like uh. y'all taking shots at the academic institutions. Now, oh, this is. Crazy. No, I'm it's just tough to get in What are we pit, doing, man? man? It's tough. <laughs> My dog said, yo, we, well, I'm tired of this draft talk. All right, what's what, 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 what your acceptance rate looking like, huh? Huh? No, yeah, just, yeah. Y'all let anybody in. Saying, if anybody can get in I'm there, I don't want to go there. Like, <laughs> no, it's just fine. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it, it didn't matter how you got there. You could go there. And it's like, oh, wow. Like, yeah, you know. Yo, you this know is this. funny. Y'all are funny, man. Y'all are funny. Hi. <laughs> So, so we we on the same team right now. We're gonna all be on the same team because Zach Frazier is no longer a West Virginia. He is a Pittsburgh Steeler and Pitt alum and West Virginia alum can all meet in the middle with this one. It was the best pick in the draft. I I, I said that right. You did say that. That, that was what you said from the, the beginning. That was the yeah. pick the Steelers needed to make. You definitely said that, man. But I told you that. That's why you thought. That. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I, we just needed a center. I sent you over that West Virginia stuff. Man. We like, just yeah, needed a center. <laughs> and Zach Frazier was one of the top three centers. <laughs> and he was there in the second round. We didn't have to trade oh, up or anything man. to get him. He had a bunch of highlights against Pitt. I sent you <laughs> oh, that. Oh, man. It was a down year last year. <laughs> down year. He said, yo, he got drafted strictly off the Pitt games. Yo, put that tape on, bro. Like I said, with West yeah, Virginia, one, once in a blue moon, they do have a good prospect. Year, and Zach Frazier is that guy this year for them. <laughs> Man, I thought Zach Frazier was the best center in the draft. I thought, really? I really, did. Like, I, really did. Uh, uh, I need to hear this out. No, Let's no, hear this. Are, are we surprised that he would think that that's I'm the not, best? I'm not, but one. I want to hear I'm the case. Surprised. He's a I'm Steeler surprised. now, so I'm, you yeah. know, I, I want to see why he's, he'll be better than Jackson better. Powers, Johnson, he, and Barton. I kind of was saying that before the draft. I was like, man, I think, I think you were. I think you were when we did the mock draft, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah, 
I was like, he's the dog, like, at the center position. Mm-hmm. He's aggressive. He's, um, he gets down his, he's physical. He's like a true, I don't know, like, everything about him is stiller to me. Nah, you know you're what right. I mean? Yeah, everything about him is still, like, I'm here to maul you. Like, I'm here to, you know, he got physical. He got that wrestler but, on him. That's, that's yeah. him, bro. He got that about him. But I'm smart, too. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, I'm smart. I'm crafty, too. Like, you know? I thought I thought I thought he was the best center. I thought he was a dog. I think he can move. I think he's physical. You know, uh, he's aggressive. I think that center position, and it's, I've learned so much more. But it's like that center position is such a key position on your offense. If you can get a dude like, there, it could change a lot for you. Facts. If you get a dude to control, mm-hmm. like truly the center of that line, you can do so much. So mm-hmm. it's like. I think that'll open that run game up the way they want. I think that's a, a spot like they were super excited about. Like that's a big, big pickup. Yeah. You think about the Le'Veon years, the, the best years, like the pouncey was there. Well, like of it's always like, yeah, you get you a center that can really control things. Think about um, you know. I mean, historically we've always had a dope center. Like we said, man, Jeff Hardens, Damani Dawson, mm-hmm. obviously uh Mike Webster. I mean, we do that, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, I think this is a good pickup. Like, um, he can come in and kind of learn and run things. And, you know, I yeah. think they'll, I think they'll really try to really run the ball. I think that's really, once again, what they're saying. Like, they're really trying to get back to who they, who, who Pittsburgh is. Like, yeah. run the ball, run the ball, play good defense. So, did you think he was going to be there at fifty-one? I was surprised he was still there. I was surprised he was still there. Because we had to trade up to get him in the mock draft. Seriously, all of them was having him gone. Yeah, I didn't think he would still be there. I was surprised he was still there. I, I mean, I thought it was a couple people. It was like, how is, how is this still here? Mm-hmm. You know? I thought Peyton Wilson, like, that's still Talk around. that like, talk, man. You yeah, you, you, you I, know them linebacker eyes. Talk that yeah, linebacker talk, I, man. I, what you like with him, man? Man, I thought Pey- I thought Peyton Wilson was the best linebacker in the draft. You like, can say that again. Linebacker. Big facts. You know? I was big on him. I thought he's like, uh, I don't. He's not. He's mutant, like you mm-hmm. know. Like he he looks freaky in there, bro. I, I hate to just give him the Keekly because it's like you know. What, you went like, Keekly. Like, 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 oh. No, everyone is because the, it's like six four, and then their know. speed matches yeah. up. Like All the measurements tall. match up. To me, though, he played yeah. more like Keiko than Keekly. I, you know what? I like that. I see I Kiko. Like Kiko Alonso. Yeah. That's what I see. Yeah. He do give me Kiko. That's, that's yeah. a, I like Kiko. He just, he just, he's just, he's bigger. Like, he's, he's, Keek, he's, he's Luke Keekley's frame, but his yeah. game is downhill. That shifty yeah, sideline back. Like, that's Kiko. I don't bro. think he's he the same, like, Kiko. shuffler as well, Kiko. Right? Yeah, that that's, that. he's not like, Luke Keek, like, but you watch Kiko Alonso, how he would attack the line and shuffle and get down, and watch him shuffle get down. It's like, bro, y'all look the same. It's just you 6'4, Kiko was like 6'1. Even the flavor, how he look with it, how he came. Oh, 100%. Like, he you do, already know that. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. He do give me Kiko. Like, I do yeah. see that. I, I do do see that. But I love his game, man. I love his game. He's sideline to sideline, you mm-hmm. know? I think – but I think he'll be – I think, as, you know, but I think he'll be the brain. I think he'll be kind of like, mm-hmm. I'm helping get this thing really set up. I'm comfortable in here. I know what we're trying to do. Uh, let's get to it, you know, and I think like a Patrick Queen, it'll let him run a little bit more too. I you know? agree, but this was my question to you. Do you think that Queen is the better athlete between the two? I do. I still do. Okay. I think Queen's definitely the better athlete. Okay. Because I, I think he's an athlete. Yeah, I think, I think Queen the is athlete. the shorter part, so it's quicker in the short, but I'm like the 6'4 package with that range, I'm like yeah. That thing nice, man. I think it's a, you know, I think it's a, I thought that was a really good pick. I mm-hmm. thought once again he's the best inside linebacker. Like he gets downhill, he made a lot of plays at NC State. Yeah, facts. You know, um, how much PT you, know, you think um, he could get this year? You quiet, please quietly, can say he's a, a pseudo mountaineer because you know NC State is. <laughs> what? <laughs> really what? I've never heard this in my life. <laughs> It's Where did this come from? Bro, what? Everybody that knows knows. Hey, so I said, NC State is it's practically it's West Virginia. Virginia. 
I th- the defensive coordinator, all that defensive. Oh, oh, are you saying like oh, okay. a bunch of Steelers yeah. dudes go out to gotcha. Arizona? That type I of thought thing? you were saying. I thought you'd be like geographical, like the location. I'm like, bro, hold on, man. NC State is nowhere near. I'm tripping. I'm not tripping that bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's all our West Virginia coaches, man. Respect, man. respect, respect. You know, respect. I, I watched. I watched them a lot, and you know, like NC State ran a lot of good defenses. They yeah. blitz. They was getting downhill, so it's like. He knows how to blitz. He gets mm-hmm. downhill. You could tell, like, he understands concepts on defense. So he'll be able to talk. He'll be able to communicate. Yeah. Um. You know, I think he's going to play hard. I think he's one of them that's going to play real hard. You see, like, I would say, I would say echo of the whistle type dude, bro. Like, he yeah. chasing you down 40, 50 yards. Like, yeah. Yeah. How I much you think he's going to play? Uh, I think he's going to play a lot. I think he'll... I think he's gonna play a lot. I think it'll be a competition it, yep. right there because mm-hmm. it's still, you know, it's still some pieces that were right there. So it's like it creates a little bit of. I a, mean, let's talk I, to TG. How you feel in terms of a Landon Roberts, who we know is more of the, you know, physical, thicker yeah. guy versus the Peyton Wilson because Cole Holcomb, we know he's still coming back from the knee injury. Right. And Patrick Quinn, like we said, we just picked him up. We know he's gonna be out there. Mark Robinson Patrick is the understudy. Out. Patrick Queen's going to be out there. No, no, that's what we're saying. So that's what I'm saying. Like, between Alanda Roberts and Peyton Wilson, what do you like in terms of both of those dudes complimenting a Patrick Queen? I think think Peyton Wilson's like the young energy, Mm. you know? Like, you'll see that on, like, the third down package. I think he'll start to build that in, which it'll be him and Patrick Queen. You know, I think Alanda Roberts, you're still going to see him. Cause I feel like E-Rob's your 50 first 50. down dude. That's your yeah. 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 That's your Vince he, he Williams of the group right now. Like yeah, yeah, play good. That's your what you know what Vince gonna do. Mm-hmm. Like got the cone setter, he done he done showed he's yeah. willing to do that. He done stepped in there a lot, and he hit. So you're, and he definitely hit. Yeah. And I mean that's still important. Like he's gonna stop the run. Yeah, like that's you know, I think you're. I think that's part of the Peyton Wilson pick because it's like. The knock on him was all his like his injury history yeah. and everything like that. To where it's like he don't have to be in there every single play, right? You know, E Rock could do like that, that nice heavy goal. lifting and now use him for yeah. the athlete portion. Yeah, yeah. shoot, you know? you know how to start. Hey, you you are nickel linebacker to start it off. Whenever we call nickel, you get out there. All right. And it's like, oh, was it Robinson? I I don't think they Mark, totally. Yeah. I don't I don't think you just give up on that. Like I think that's like the. It can do a lot once you get it going. It just you got to keep messing with his brain. In yeah, a keep developing. And I think, keep developing. Yeah, and it's it's still growing up. Like I think it'll probably be way better this year than it was last year, and it's gotten experience a little bit more. Well, it so had to play know. a lot more last year too, due to some of those injuries. So we got a chance to see it struggle, but also see it make some plays as well. Grow up. So I mean, you know, it might get an off season where it totally understands. Like, all right, these are the things I need to work on because this is what I'm gonna be doing in the game. Literally, so. But you also know how it go too, though, bro. Like after you know two to three years of it, yeah, yeah, they like, bro, this who you are, yeah. And right now, that's what that pick is, yeah. (laughs) Okay, I was like, bro, we we both there, yeah, yeah. I think that pick says, all right, I'm moving on, Mm -hmm. but you know, if you if you if you surprise us, surprise us, yeah. yeah. But I think his his thing was brain games. I would agree. Like his thing wasn't the physical. His thing mm-hmm. was brain. Games. What you looking at? What so, you seeing? How you processing? Yeah. It? What mm-hmm. you seeing? Are you seeing the right stuff? Like mm-hmm. you know where we're in. You know where you're supposed to be seeing. Yeah. So it's like I think he'll be a year better. You know, a year better that a year more growth for that he might like. That's a surprise you pick. Yeah. And the he, good thing for crazy. him is he's healthy right now. When you physically, talk, physically it's there though. Yeah. Physically, it's there. He's healthy. He could give you special teams value still, so you still feel good about that. Yeah. I just think it's going to get tight, man. I think it's going to get tight in there. <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah. It's uh, definitely, yeah. I'm with you. It's definitely going to get tight, but it's not. I mean, it's not going to get tight, <laughs> you know? Oh, uh, yeah. Right. I think the top four is pretty much set. Yeah, top four is Wilson, good. Mm-hmm. Holcomb coming back, Roberts, and obviously Patrick Queen. Yeah. Now, TG, we were just uh, talking about this. Uh, we, we've been talking about this a decent amount ever since we yeah. drafted uh, Fautanu in the first round. Where do you see him on this offensive line? Do you see him at left tackle? you think we're just going to have him over at right? I think they're going to put him at – see, I think Troy's super athletic, mm-hmm. you know. 
Like, I think Troy is super athletic and he's nasty a little bit. You know, I think that was a really good player, too. Yeah, I really thanks. Do. Um, I really do. I thought that was, like, he's a dog. Um, but, I mean, I think I think the pick last year was the – that's the Broderick was the, the left tackle. Mm-hmm. You know what I think. And we traded up him. to get him, too. Yeah, I think that was the investment in the left tackle. Like, that's going to left tackle. So, where Troy is, like, the – I think he's the other one. You know, and mm-hmm. I think he'll go to the right tackle. But I think the the plan was when you even traded up to get that, like that was a buy. That was a that was a all right. Let's go get this. Let's yeah. get this this piece at left tackle. Like no matter because at the time it was to protect Kenny per se. You yeah. know, so it's like you invested in the quarterback a few years ago. You wanted to go get that left tackle to protect it, and that's what Broderick was like. So I feel like the plan has been. Project to the left tackle to where I think Project will now go to the left tackle and Troy will go to the right tackle. Yeah. And Troy technically was right tackle at Washington because of Penix being left. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Because he was yeah, left handed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, so I think he'll go back and kind of be to the side of, I can see it coming to. Yeah. You know. Now, talk to me about your Benny Bishop guy, man. All right. We. We talk about these other draft picks. That's all well and good, but we got another W you do here, man. Coming from the man. secondary, bro. What's your thoughts on Benny? What you see I'm from him, man? He didn't get drafted, you know. Like as an All American, I was surprised he didn't get drafted, yeah. but he could play. He carried that eleven legacy up there. Respect, you know, respect, the respect. And whatnot. If you know, you but, know. I mean, man, good player. Good player can play zone, can play man. Uh, he's got good ball ability. Mm-hmm. You know, he kind of gave me like a. Mm, like Xavier Howard in the sense, you know? Okay. Like like his ball ability is sky high. Like yeah. he, he can play the ball. Bro, I seen the one the joint. My man is like, the receiver is falling, tipped the ball, kicked it, and my man catches this joint as a pick. I'm just like, yo, that's the craziest, most fluky, lucky, right on time, but you're in a great he position. the ball. Yeah, he catches you know how, it. You know how you say catch you the ball, like bro. A lot of corners, catch the ball. a lot of corners that don't catch the ball. Like, he catches the he ball. He catches it, bro. Like, he, he does a good job at that. You know, uh, Rasul Douglas, he, like, he does, he truly catches Shout the ball. out to Rasul. You know, man, you know, I'm, I'm a big Rasul Douglas guy. Big, yeah. big Rasul Douglas guy, man. He's it's found a cool home. He'll never need to leave. He'd have found a home. Stay there. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Rasul came over there first week. He got a pick. Hey, like, my big. Hey, he gave us five weeks of the roll straight turnovers. I'm like, bro, that's what he do. you're catch good with ball. me. I don't care. You're good. But that's what he do. Catch the, if you catch a lot of times, just catch like, half of a them, bro. Of be in position. If you catch the ones you're supposed to catch, like I tell you, we, that's what we say. Yeah. Well, I, I just catch half of it, right? The ones right there. Yeah. If you just catch that. Bro, Casey should have had five picks that. last year. That's another Least. one. Shout out to Casey. He definitely dropped a handful of just bunnies. Like, yo, they right to you, bro. Misplayed some terribly as well. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, to me, I feel like I feel like he, him, and because uh, they drafted one late, the dude from Texas. Yeah, what, what, uh, Ryan like, Watts. Ryan Watts. Watts. They drafted him from Texas late. So it's like, to me, those are the same – pick in a mm. sense you know like i think i think it's like all right i didn't draft you but i came and got you like i think it might have been even in the because you could have flip-flopped them if it would have said we drafted <laughs> benny bishop at 195 and we signed ryan watts as an undrafted free agent i could yeah. also see that yeah. and i wouldn't I have been surprised by it even like all right yeah. you know um i just think i think watts is is bigger you know what I mean? Six like, three, yeah, yeah. He's got good size. Like I think they're trying to say they like those big corners out there. I think that gave him the nod in a sense. But now, I TG, mean, I got a question for you though with Benny, man. I'm watching him. I think that you could bump him into this slot because we're struggling right now personnel wise. There, how do you feel about his ability to play in the slot though? I think he can play the slot. Oh, um, I think he gives you more of the cover guy at the slot. That's what I'm know? saying. Yeah. <laughs> I think, but I he think still he tackles, though, it looks like. He will tackle. He will tackle. Like, I was going to say you could put him more at a safety and have him come down on that Ooh. slot. You know what I mean? You think he's big and enough I, to play safety? I just think he, I think he is, but I think he could come down on that slot, and now you get a, a 
a pseudo third corner out of that. Almost I see what you corner. mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? I see what you mean. Like, I think you get that out of that if you wanted to do something like Could that. Could you I treat it almost like three safeties, what we did with Minka Fitzpatrick, uh, Demonte Casey, and when we were using Terrell Edmonds? Yeah. Could that? Because, I mean, Minka was, in, Minka was playing like, I, I look at them a lot with that. Minka mm-hmm. was playing a pseudo mic out of it. Right. It's like it looks like a different spot, mm-hmm. you know? And it's kind of like he could do things like that. Like you get an extra corner out of him that has nice side. Yeah. But I think I think that's what that pick was, even Brian Watts pick, because I think you get the same out of that. Like you can put that at a pseudo safety. Move him around a little bit. Corner. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it, it, it has that height, it has that look that. What is you know what is it back there? Like is that is that is that a safety? <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. TG, hey. did you go in the ocean? Yo, or yeah. <laughs> Hold on, bro. You saw you going underwater, bro. <laughs> oh, you, can't, you can't hear me. Yeah, I got you back now. Now you back. Yeah, it, bro. You was like, you just talking, and it was like, grass just getting like soft. I'm like, yo, where are you going? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad you came no, back. Yeah. But I'm saying, no, Ryan's like that pseudo, like, he could be that pseudo fourth corner, like, with his stature back there. Yeah. You know, I think it's the same with. With Beanie, like I think those are guys. Like if you wanted to, you could put them at a pseudo safety and use mm-hmm. them like a fourth corner. Nah, because I, I mean, if you that. really look at it, like Peyton was their first round draft pick on defense. You know, yeah. Like you know, like you could say that Ryan's like their second round draft pick on mm-hmm. defense. Like they didn't, they didn't, they, they didn't spend a lot on that. Yeah, yeah. So those is what they bring when they had the rookie mini camp. Like those are two. Those the main dudes. Like, They're gonna be yeah, yeah of the yep. defense. So it's like. The, the the corner you say you know he was a per se the first free agent it's like that's like the third it draft matters yeah, yeah they're gonna give hey, a like, lot you, of you know they go look at whoever that first uh, drafted guy is like who's the first one they signed that was the first one yeah. uh he the nicest one of the group there that's the one they wanted yeah. the most everybody know that the, yeah, everybody know that all right like he's going there like yeah. chip on the shoulder but i'm 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 here. here. I'm trying. I'm trying hey, to start. Hey, I mean, TG, yeah. his sign of bonus ain't even like the everybody else sign of no, bonus. They be like, yo, he done buffed his up a little bit. <laughs> he might be up there with this. Hey, with all right. Guys. If you know, you know. All right. <laughs> you just got called. I didn't get the phone call. Yeah, that's that's the only difference. It's like, yo, you yeah. got to see your TV, but the bankroll still the bankroll. Yeah. <laughs> now, respect, respect. All right, all right. Now, speaking of going back to this draft, though, man, we did take Roman Wilson, receiver out of Michigan in the third. What's your thoughts on him, man? Um, yeah. How you feel about Roman? Uh, competitor. Yeah. You know? Somebody that's, that, that's like dog mentality, like competitor. I think you're trying to get a – I feel like you're trying to make that room just scrappier, mm. you know? Scrappier. Like, I think – I think – I think you never underestimate the ability of knowing how to win, you know? Like, he was on the team that won. Yeah, Yeah, he's a champion mentality. Like, you know what it takes. Like, all right, I know this is a big moment. Like, I've been taught these moments Mm -hmm. in college. I've been taught these moments, you know, as a winner. Even how to prepare for them, too. Yeah. Somebody that knows how to win. Mm -hmm. I I feel like Coach T, like, really liked him from everything that I see and everything. I feel like that was, like, you know, Coach T has people that he Mm -hmm. get, like, crushes on like i think that was one of his crushes like i think he yeah. really yeah he was setting him, up like one-on-one like, matchups with wilson versus yeah. like the top corners at the yeah. senior bowl and, and you know that's coach t like let me see them two guys hey <laughs> he go match go make again. he go play matchmaker now yeah. yeah and i think that that scrappiness that that willingness to compete you know yeah it's not what you're capable of. It's what you're willing to do. Show them. Oh, like, you better like, talk, boy. Hey, that's from the Steelers Super Bowl. Hey, baby. hey, yeah. Coach Tia drop one of them. It's not what you're capable of. It's what you're willing to do. Oh, yeah. God, dog, man. I like when you bring that up, TG. Dang, but you hit a nerve right that's there one now. Of that's one of the ones like, right yeah, there. You know, that's definitely one of the ones right there, man. It's not a forty inch vert, but it's a it's a it's a dog. It's yeah. Somebody that's gonna come at you. Every you know what you're gonna get. Every single you know, time. Every single time. Yeah, you know what you're going to get. I thought that was a good pick. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't think – I wasn't I, – I thought I thought receiver right there, but I didn't know. Like, I thought that was a good pick. Is there a pick you didn't like? Or you, you think there's someone we passed on that we should have taken instead of who we actually got? Because I think we hit on literally every pick that we made. Like, there was, there was yeah. no one out the, there the, where I was, like, pounding on the table, oh, man, we should have drafted this guy instead. 
I think the only controversy yeah. was fourth round. It was the Mason uh, McCormick, yeah, yeah. yeah versus uh, what TJ TJ Tampa. Tampa. Was Tampa still yeah. there? T- Mason McCormick versus TJ Tampa in the fourth. I think that was probably the only one, unless you're talking first round, just going a different direction. But I think going one of the receivers yeah, or something. Yeah, but outside yeah. of that, it was like. Who do you think that wasn't a hit? Because you don't really see just a, a spot for him to just come in there and start. And start. Right now. Yep. Like, yep. You know, so it's like. I think that was a pick of, like, contract in a sense, where it's like, all right, well, how, long, how long do these got right here? All right, we can get ready to get ready to move this one out of the way in a minute. Mm. You know? Mm-hmm. Because Mason well, McCormick's I mean, still a good player. I, That's the thing. It's yeah. like, he's still straight. I mean, he went in the four. Mm-hmm. Like, it's all, all right. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> you think he trash you want to. Like, yeah. yeah, that's not – not even no shot. Like, you know, you're a six. Like, there's no shots at the six. But, like, a six, you're almost TG. like. Yeah. If you fourth, pa- pass the fourth, fourth, you still in the house. You good. Yeah. After like, the fourth, get it how you live. You know that. Yeah. yeah. We came to get you. Like, yeah. Fourth. fourth round, you know? bro. Fourth rounders, they low-key be third and second rounders that have slid. Six and yeah. sevens is fourths and fifths that have dropped. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, bro, yeah. we know what time it is, man. So it's like, no, you know, that was a nice little pick. Like, yeah. solidify the line, come <laughs> on the ball. Now, what's your thoughts on the uh, the cat that we got out of uh, Georgia, the running back, uh, Dejon Edwards? Did you get any? You see, I, I'm sure you probably didn't check him out, too. Uh, he knows how to win. Comes from, once again, winning culture. Mm-hmm. You know, I think one mm-hmm. you never underestimate that winning culture element, you know? Shoot, I think bro. people like that. I think, once again, you know when it's a big moment. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and I shoot, think that what, running back four, like, four Georgia cats now? Yeah. I think he's a good running back. You know what I mean? And I think that running back position is it's an example. You feel like you could just snag on any time. You know what I mean? Literally, we was joking. We was over here, me and Deke, like, bro, is there a scenario where if this kid has to play, we're going to be upset? And we, like, at first it was like, yeah. And then we was thinking, we like, nah, because if everybody else doing what they're supposed to do, you should be able to plug and play these running backs behind a dope O-line, which we should have this year. And, yeah. I'm say so. I, I ain't think that's on. what you just said you just bought. You know what I mean? That's what you're saying you just bought. Like, I just bought me a nice little line. Like, now give me another piece. I think it's the it's the wheel that we said, though. You know? Yeah. Like, you got, you got a back. And then you got another back that's going to push that back. And now it's kind of like it's time to go to the next notch on the wheel. Like, that should be the next, for say, 30, you know? Like, it's how you bring in that running back that's like, all right, let me see if you can push yeah, the can button. You do this? I can move. Yeah. yeah, I can bump this one up. I can get ready to move this one out. And I can have this one behind this one. Hey, any thoughts on this? Is this little around the league type of stuff right Uh-oh. here? Here we go. Here we go. Any thoughts on Penix going to Atlanta? Man, I was shocked. I was shocked. But I think that was a – I said it. Like, I think that was, like, the coach's pick. Like, I think that was – all right, like, I'm going to go with my one. guy. Like, yeah, I got me some young stars around here. Like, that team's like – that's another team, like, quietly. If you a Madden guy, that's going to be a good yeah. Madden team. Like, it's all there. Like, you got a nice tight end. You got nice tight ends. You got a running back. You know, you got a receiver and – First your, round, your, your defense, Martin. your defense yeah. weak though, bro. Defense kind of weak. Defense I mean, you got a great You got you, you got, got an AJ Terrell. Yeah, AJ but it's light Terrell. though. Like, it's light. They got that boy from uh, the Bengals at safety. Yeah, it's light. It's, yeah, it's light over there. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I didn't love it. I thought they could have got something to address it. Uh, <laughs> My dog was like, "Yo, they got that dude from the Bengals, baby." Like, yeah, yeah. They could have dressed more immediately. <laughs> Like for sure, I the boys with pennies. They like they pay they pay Kirk all that money. Like I didn't understand like why you come get and not just pay them. They guaranteed them. It's like, yeah, it's bro, good. you guaranteed a hundred and then turn it around and get them at eight. Yeah, God. but I think oh. I really think that was a coach's trick. Like man, let's, let, this this one's me. Like let's get started with this. Do you feel like that's you know? what they was trying to explain when they showed the little clip of the uh, the GM? Talking to Arthur Blank down there, right after that Man, pick. That wasn't, I don't think that was that. Hey, I, like, I was like, <laughs> I'm, 
I'm sure he knew before he, they went ahead and said it. Like, yo, we're going to QB here. Like, I'm sure I'm sure the boy's name came up. Like, uh, what are we doing? Bro, but you going at eight? It's like, yo, we might have talked about it, but ah. <laughs> Did it really make yeah. that much sense? We all talked about it. Like, how far was I this conversation? Was Dallas Turner right there. <laughs> swear, bro. I yeah, yeah. Like, no way that's not Dallas Turner. Like, I'm like, what what was the conversation exactly. that, that that took place where y'all was like, Yeah, this this is definitely it. We we here with it. But man. he must they must have fell in love with him in the interviews. Like he did something that maybe we don't know about that's like, but I just don't know what they're gonna do. So I must say, so what are you doing with Kirk? Yeah, and they're complete opposites in the uh, sense. The night too. and day, night and day. Yeah, so yeah. it's like I don't know, man. I think yeah. I don't know what they're gonna do with that. That's, well, that's shoot, there. You. Because you've already How paid long one. locked in for it? Three years? Yeah, like two, and he just, two and a half. Yeah, but he just started it, too. Yeah, That's so. what I'm saying. Like, he's locked in for three, though. Yeah. Like, we, we paying for three for sure. In Definitely two stuff. and a half. And I think it's like, like you that could option, cut him yeah. for year three, but you're going to have to take on some dead cap. You will yeah. have some savings, but you're also going to have dead cap. That's why I say two and a half. Yeah. I just hate it because you might eat up the Bajan years of him. Ooh. You know, this is true. Once, yeah. Yeah. By the time it's like once. Penix per se do get in there comfortably. I think the Bajan years might be up, or you know, yeah. like it might be like, all right, now I gotta, I gotta keep this happy. Hopefully everything's good, you know. Now, you know, do you see fun. a scenario where Kirk is not ready to go this year? And maybe that's why they went ahead and made that pick. Like, all right, this might not be ready. Yet. But then, why, but then, why you carry him right? Man. That's. <laughs> Because if, if, like if that's the know, case, to pay all that money. I'm about to say if that's the case, you're tripping, bro. Maybe they didn't. <laughs> know if you gave Penix it would be available for them at eight. Maybe that's why they wanted, so, they wanted like somebody's a lot of insurance at the quarterback that. position. <laughs> See, what'd you say, bro? Yeah. I feel like somebody's getting fired out of there. Like, I don't know it's what just, side of it, but I don't. Yeah, it, it doesn't match. Like whatever yeah. this is, it doesn't match, man. Because you're either the one that was voting for Team Kirk or you're the one that was voting for Team Penix. Like, yeah. Somebody like... Internally, though, we so, all... Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's not like Penix is coming in as a project either. Like Jordan no. Love, when he was coming in and yeah. the Packers picked in, it's like, no, no you're, yeah, ready. you're going to have to wait a couple of years, John Rogers, for sure, before yeah. you're even close to being ready. Penix will start day one. Yeah. And he's also yeah. an older he's old, prospect. Yeah. yeah. I, remember, I remember Ben being mad about Mason and what, the third... Uh, yeah, you know, Kirk said he like, was surprised. I know Kirk was upset, but you know Kirk's not gonna do that. Kirk got a hundred in his pocket, man. He ain't tripping, yeah. tripping. Yeah, he's like, but Kirk don't give you problems though. Kirk, hmm. Kirk someone would trade good. for him too if the Falcons want to move it's off Kirk after Cousins, year. baby. Maybe actually that contract. Listen, is, that it's Kirk contract Cousins. is pretty ridiculous. It's so. Kirk it's Cousins, contract, bro. Though, it's not yeah, Kirk, yeah, it's, like, it's Kirk. Though. Yeah, it's forty five. Like if he was getting paid thirty or thirty five, maybe someone would trade for him. His contract is pretty high. Maybe like the Broncos, but the Broncos wouldn't got one too. We got Bo Nix. Is I think the Raiders up. are the only team without like a quarterback. Yeah, I wanted the Raiders to get Penix. Like I thought that fit the Raiders. Like I thought he'd be a good Raider. You know. Yeah, Atlanta. What are we doing, Atlanta? That's just the. Yeah. But I mean, I think it's hard though. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, he should wear number eight in Atlanta. He got that left-handed look. He might. The no, city no, no. might. Love. Can he wear eight? Uh, or is uh, what's Pitts down there? Oh, yeah. Pitts, yeah, I think Pitts got eight. Yeah, he That 18. was the whole thing about with Kirk Cousins getting down there for eight. Yeah. What if Panix got eight? But they got. They might <laughs> should make ridiculous. that work though. That'd be hilarious. They might should change. He might should buy that out. So let like, Pitts get the eight. Kirk don't yeah, get the eight. Buy and that Kirk out. got Kirk get a hundred and don't get his number. <laughs> Oh but y'all playing? Why you playing with Kirk like that, man? You got you TG, gotta like you're playing <laughs> with Kirk. If you're entertainment, TG, entertainment, like, TG, they gotta go on. He's the TG, next coming, like TG, <laughs> my dog. If Kirk Cousins, who got a hundred guaranteed, can't get eight, and they turn around and give the dude they draft the eighth overall with that eight, oh man. I just right. think everything about him should get eight. Like, man, I don't want to call him you, the you, next. You go set the next, but the next, like That's the left-handed crazy. quarterback, That's Atlanta. That's crazy. You should get eight. Kirk over here, like, bro, just give me my money. I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. Just give me my money. Let me Kenny go. Kenny got eight. Why well, he came to just best give me my money. Let me go, bro. TG, so yeah. Man, Kenny man. got eight. You're saying why Kirk can't Panics get it? Work that eight out is because it was gonna have to do too much. Hey, like he's gonna have to do too much. That's crazy. They can work this out. I can see that. <laughs> oh, wait. Juice Bellamy's saying he wears nine. He wears nine? He wears nine. 
don't know. I mean, I, like, he wears nine. That's easy. Man. Yeah, if it's him, that's case and dope. Then heck yeah. Nine could be all right, like, but I, you know, eight. did he wear nine? He might. I don't know. I know he's a single digit, but I don't, I don't know his number like that. That's the crazy thing. Like we we'll watch these players, and yeah, I'm over here like I don't. It know is his nine. Number. Yeah. It it looks very much like an eight yeah. on the Washington uniform. It Shout very out. much. But it's what it represent. Shout I'm out. probably supposed to represent the next gen. The next. He's the upgrade. The next up. Yeah. New chapter. Next up. Uh, yeah. you're yeah. saying Vic was seven. Yeah. Panic. K- kind of like Kenny was supposed to be the upgrade to seven. He here. was never supposed to be the yeah. upgrade. Come on, never. bro. They was calling it Kenny'sburg, man. No. Yeah, or P- Pickensburg or something like that. that yeah. No, that, I quickly that was, come on, was, bro. Don't don't do that. That no, was fool. Don't do that, man. Everybody, bro. Everybody oh, was over that, here. They was. I wanted them back, them, man. You, you know my stance on that. Man. I didn't even want. I didn't I want to quickly really forget. Yeah, they was ready to put the statue up of KP8, man. I was excited yeah. about Kenny. I thought he was going to be the franchise here, but Steelers missed on Dan Marino years ago. The Ben and being better than Ben or next. It was it was too far that was way too far i think you honestly i don't know who was doing that they called him they said i, I they think said you the were next strong man in that a little danny bit marino they said the next great pit quarterback since danny marino and the steel that was yeah the redemption on. yeah but that's yeah. different than next up or the upgrade over ben that's well, that's a marino? different story what is dan marino so if he's words, dead, oh, we were excited about Kenny. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but the whole the whole Ben you stuff. Were saying, no. The words were next up, the upgrade. I no, I never, never I said the upgrade. Like you were saying, I said next up. I said next right. up. Yeah, yeah. new yeah. era, pick it era. I I, yeah, I like will. Era, I will admit pick all that. Bird. Like you remember all this pick. It was Don't like a, get it twisted. I never said the upgrade. Oh, yes, get out of here with that. So you didn't say. You might not have said that specific word then, but it was was not implied that Kenny was going to be like the. He's getting us back to grace. He's getting us back to glory. Yeah, he's going to be the franchise. Yeah. The, the upgrade, though. That's no. Man, that's he was right never out of my mouth. I wanted Ben I back. That. I never wanted to be in this situation. <laughs> we know you wanted to back. You definitely wanted to back. I don't know if you said upgrade. I never said upgrade. That's blasphemy. But he's top three. If he would have been top three, that would have been up. That wouldn't have been an upgrade. No. All right, I'm, it I'm wouldn't have been. Big Ben's the up. Wouldn't have been an upgrade. I would be intrigued because I remember we used to list quarterbacks and you had a top 10 rating of quarterbacks. <laughs> And you used to always put Kenny so high in your top ten list of quarterbacks. Top five, like, top just, three. Yeah. Oh, we only I'm did it twice. Like, the first year I didn't have Kenny in any of the rankings because he wasn't starting. And yeah. last year, yeah, I I thought he was gonna be top three. Didn't live up. Bad take by me. Fired. Living you learn. No, man, but but no. that's still a pit player getting drafted for a West Virginia player no. too, though. I think that that's yeah. He won. He won. But to, I think. Yeah. But I think it's a prime example. You know what I mean? Like that's how it goes. Like, like yeah. I think I last like we got guys like Gino. You this know, is facts, that's yeah. like West Virginia quarterbacks. Like they write them off, but it still is a dog. Like they don't write back. You are right. You know what I mean? Well, I think like that pit guy is like the you write them on, respectfully. <laughs> I knew he was about to come. I was like, yo, where's he going with it? Oh, oh, he's I see crazy. where he's going with this. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> he said, yeah, yeah, the, the, the West Virginia guys, you write them, but they ain't going to write back. Pick up. Oh, he, he'll write back. Y'all, y'all pen pals. He write back to you all the time. That's mm-hmm. what he said. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. That is crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know if there's... Any West Virginia quarterbacks hey. better than Dan Marino uh, or, or even a Kenny Pickett? See. I mean, I mean, come on. The Gino, the Gino finishing top three in the Heisman voting? Oh, I don't, I don't think he did. I think he, I mean, he, he was snub that year. It should have been Gino for Heisman, and you know that. <sighs> Kenny should have won the Heisman. We won't go into that. Should have been Gino for Heisman that year. <laughs> but he played. It I know there was hype Gino about for, it, but. Didn't really play out that should way. Should have been Gino for Heisman that year. You remember that year. You I remember, remember Deion year. Lewis for Heisman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't remember that. But it should have been Gino for Heisman that year. People who know, know. Then they were trying to hate on him because they said the little pop passes to Tavon wasn't him. But Gino was going crazy that year. They hit him with the Bo Nick stats? They hit him with yeah. this? Oh, man. He was dropping 70 on dudes consistently. That is facts. That is facts. Consistently. Hey, there's still some really good free agents out here too, man. Well, hold on, I, I gotta ask you this: what, what receiver are the Steelers trading for? <laughs> man, <laughs> that laugh sounds like I, you know something. TG, I, I want to say, what's up, bro? 
because you because you 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 were closer to the guy that drops these CTE ESPN reports anyway. So so I mean, what, what's happening, bro? I mean, because are you, you know, an intern at CTSP? Yeah, yeah. What's going on, man? Because <laughs> we, we we be hitting you up all of a sudden, and you don't, like you don't be that. answering the call no more. We like, bro, like, is you is you two time enough? Like, you working with AB two? And we're like, what was going on, bro? Yeah. Hey, hey, I don't be know if some of these be shots. Like, you could you could intern at CTSP. Like, I know. <laughs> 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 is that, are, He's are been hitting on shots? some of these reports. <laughs> Said, oh, these are shots. No, these are shots. Like you, I know you can't enter this team. Is real. <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> these are not shots, bro. DJ's yeah, like, yo, y'all play with me. Hold on, man. Are y'all playing this for real? No, nah, bro. We're you got a connection to the other. Like, like right. we're, we're we're being legit because we say like, yo, A B of lately. <laughs> CTE SPN has been valid. Man, like, say what you want, that's CTE. Yeah, SPN we like, bro, he been hitting on stuff. So we like, all right, well, because he, he's about to expand. You working for him now? Like, we scored on? Like, yo, who, who working with who? Like, yo, yo, who? Because he, he about to build something up. We didn't see him do an interview. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We like, hey, I don't know who's on the team, but they trying to start something over there, man. <laughs> but, but it looks as though you could qualify. Like, you could get in. But Doc say, yo, hold on. Bro, bro, y'all, y'all play. Don't play with me like that. No, I ain't. No, 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 no like, play. No funny stuff, bro. We like for real. You can be a candidate. <laughs> you can be a candidate and qualify for this. <laughs> Respect. Shout out to my dog. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that Baltimore ain't never leave, bro. He was ready. Right hey, oh, 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 hey, hey, we ain't about to just be doing this one now. All right. <laughs> But I, oh, it, I, see, I see a quarterback. I mean, I see a. Oh man! You, you hear little br- murmurs? Yeah, you know, bro. They talking right. these receivers, man. I thought, I thought, I thought a Cortland would be the one. I don't think Debo is gonna come over here. I don't think that Debo is gonna happen. Okay. You know what I mean? I think that's too expensive. You know, I do. But I mean, I was kind of, you know, I was hearing the murmurs of the court. You know. Yeah. I was saying that in the sudden, like I was saying, it's not happy over there. Everybody, you know, obviously they skipped out on the OTA joint, so we already know. Yeah, <clears throat> people want to play with Russ, though. I think mm-hmm. Russ has that Russ effect. Like I think, never forget that. You yeah. know, like people want to play with Russ. It's like somebody that I know yep. I would like to play with. You know what I mean? I think there's still people like a Michael Thomas out here that Ooh. you can hear that name. It's like you don't slant God. All right, let's rush. Yeah, you know. I think something like that would be a nice play. Yeah. Big here, too. You know, I really do. Um, the Tyler Boyd's still around in the world. You know, I think you always kind of got to, what's going on with that? But, now, what do you I make of, know. Uh, you know, if it was a, a D and a K? Yeah. Man. Uh, what <laughs> CTE and SPN talking about with that one, man? Come on, bro. I don't, I don't but what are you gonna, I don't see that. All right. I don't All right. that. that's, that's too that's rich. It's too rich. Yeah, that, I think to me, I mean, I think that's up there with the depot conversation. That to me, low key, would might be even more than the depot. But it's already I'm, paid though. I feel that. So it's depot. Yeah, yeah. So it's depot. No. Who would you take, Debo or DK? a different style, though, bro. If I could take, I'd take DK. Yeah, if I say Debo, sure. like, you got to work harder I, for Debo. I think DK, I still think DK is the, like. Yes. See, yeah, that's the yes, prototype. Yes, like, that's bro. Yes. You know? <laughs> that is a monster out there, bro. Yeah, that's the, like, that's the prototype. It's like, a big <laughs> bully that runs like yeah. a deer. And you're like, yeah. ah. I ain't big, got no angry, answer for that. <laughs> he big angry speed. Not just big speed. Well, big beat you up. Speed. Beat you up with the yeah. nose ring. And like, bro, say something. Yeah. Play with say me. Something. Yeah. But that little kid was talking trash to him. I was in fear the first time I was <laughs> I'm like, oh, something happy. <laughs> Choke the little kid out. Yeah. Like, you know, so, uh, you know, I love DK. Yeah. I like Buddy on LSU because he's a DK lookalike. Like, I love mm, you know Yeah, I, mean? I see you on that. Yep. But, I mean, um, I, I don't see DK. I don't, I don't see that one. Too rich. Even though I heard it. I heard his name started to come up in trade talks, but yeah. I don't see that one. I heard the Chiefs tried to call for that. Yeah. A lot of people oh, call for DK, man. DK is a hot commodity. If they had handed that to the Chiefs, like, what are we doing? 
we we cheating, hustling backwards. Y'all, man, y'all if point I, shaving. Who's in there with the bills? Like, hey, yo, if, don't do that. Don't don't do that. Don't anybody, don't do that. Don't do that. You you see? Don't don't start that, bro. If anybody on the Chiefs organization would have called me at the Buffalo Bills, hey, stop it. Me stop for anything, it. Stop it. I'd have been like, <laughs> give me number fifteen or don't call my phone number. If it don't have number fifteen involved, I don't want. <laughs> See, man, like, I would have made look, 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 man, I get it. I definitely get it. Trust me. Part of me is like, yo, <laughs> I know we win and we beat no. them every single year. The problem the is we lose. Run. The problem is we lose the big, big ones in the postseason. We win in all the regular season matchups. But, bro, but we lose bro, them when Buffalo it matters more. Handy. Yeah. Buffalo handed Xavier Worthy. Bro, we ain't won Xavier Worthy. What you wanted to take him at 28? We ain't won him at 28. I, I would have took him before I gave him to Kansas City. Fair, fair, but we ain't want him, so we went and got Keon Are Coleman you? and added some draft picks, and now we didn't like got we, we scoop it. Come on, bro, we like scraping Keon the pot Coleman. real quick. Yeah, I, like I know. Keon. I know you like Keon Coleman. I know you do. Yeah. yeah. Then they should have they should have hung up on them and answered for anybody else. <laughs> Bill Belichick would have never did that. I've seen Bill Belichick do devilish stuff in the draft. I, I agree. I was a little bit surprised at the hospitality that the Bills were showing the Chiefs. I'm yeah. just saying that Sean McDermott, Brandon Bean, they are just trying to be the change in the world that we want to but they see. They answer that. Folks. They're, they're like, just, you they just they they want to pay yeah, it forward. They got a little bit of color ID. They're, like, they're paying it forward. They said they said, they "Yo, did. we're we're trying to be inclusive. We want to work in a different direction. We're gonna." try something new guys just work with us that's what's going on right now bro they should have answered that kansas city no come on man but look but look but look i know you ain't gonna trip because that bills draft was kind of all right though won't it i know it was kind of all right got us a little safety got a little running back i know you like Mm -hmm. a Dwayne carter give me some interior d lineman kind of push in the mindset that collage you can't see too bro yeah and it's good he nice nice bro he nice nice Got Cedric Van Pran. Nice. Come on, got, got a little extra. Get, get a little interior offense line. Get, 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 get some depth in here. Why not? You know? When you see on Coleman's the star of the show, like yeah. I thought that was a, oh, yeah. I thought that was a perfect replacement. Like oh, I yeah. think that's a you know, jump ball guy, elite mm-hmm. guy. I think he'll be a really, 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 really good player in the yeah. league. Like, I think he'll be one of them. Talk that talk, man. Talk that talk. Yeah. But yeah. but they lost because they handed they <laughs> handed the Chiefs in favor work. <laughs> like that's that's like a Man, it's it's you should like the winners know, of draft off of one. I already team. know, bro. Yeah, they're winning with bum receivers. I already know. I now was, they I got was, a yeah. Tyreek we the same replacement. Page. Not he's not yeah, gonna be Tyreek like, Hill, but I a mean, guy that could take like, the top off the defense. Of all the teams, yeah. Why you gotta give him the speed, the dude? Too. Like you see what happened yeah. to the last time he had a speed guy. Yeah, I'm with you. I think trust me, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you, bro. Number one, keep the zero. You know what time it is. Bring the playbook back out. I'm with you, bro. Trust me. We on the same page. It. Part of me was like, ah, I don't like it because it was them. Man. But at the same time, it's like, nah, F them, bro. We we not scared of the Chiefs, bro. We beat the Chiefs. Our problem Man, is it gets fluky in the postseason. 13 seconds. Man, bring, you lost on 13 seconds and you missed on a wide right. It's like, ah. Bring all the post corners back. Man. Bring all that. All that. We got We got. Hey, the post corner game, is filthy when you we got, got that. Long yeah. Yeah, bring it all back out. Post corner hit different with that type of speed. You absolutely we right. We got track guys out here, and you still forget they got Hollywood in there. Like, oh yeah, you gave them all that speed. In if that's not, that's the new that's the dolphin of this year. Like man, yeah. K's just team man. It's too fat. Like it's a lot. It's giving fat. It's some fast boys out here, man. Hey, but look, we're gonna we're gonna find out. How about that? How about we find out? <laughs> How about you we gonna find out? Cool. Hey, we'll find out. We're gonna see what they can do with it. Like I said, Buffalo ain't never scared of that, man. Buffalo handles man. business with that. It just get fluky the past two postseason times. Devin Haney didn't care that he came above weight and he was talking. I don't care how much he weighs. Hey, it's you right. Good. You right. You right. He shouldn't yeah, have weighed. He, he shouldn't have did it. No, he he definitely shouldn't have done that. He definitely should have done that. He should have been like, bro, yeah, you miss weight. Like, I, I'm cool. I ain't playing with you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not playing with y'all. Yeah. I'm not giving you that. Yeah. He definitely he definitely let that pride get him into something, but this is different. This is Buffalo. Buffalo ain't knowing that because Josh Allen ain't Devin Haney, all right? Don't play. <laughs> Don't play. They would I would have I would have been like give me 15. <laughs>
You, not the hey, draft look, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to make me feel bad about the draft for the Bills. You're not going to do it. It's not going to happen, so stop it, all right? It's not going to happen. Stop, as long as you got Josh hey, Allen, just get me a receiver. As long as I got Josh, just get me anybody out there. And we got Keon Coleman. I'm trying to tell you right now. We right Man, back where we want to be. All right, stop, right? Me, stop so playing with me. Stop playing with me. As long as you got the quarterback, that's all you matters, man. They dropped their whole draft grade. No, nah, stop. Say <laughs> because you made that trade with them and they took that guy. Oh no, your draft is an F. I don't care. <laughs> they dropped their whole draft. Grade. <laughs> hey, look, man. Look, we ain't tripping on the Chiefs, bro. All right, we ain't tripping on them. I know Russ ain't either. Yeah, Russ cooked them too. So we good either way. Black and gold or blue and red, we good, man. Yeah. Either way, we cooking. Shout out to X Concepts. Yeah, Dalton King. Yeah, Dalton King K like that. Yeah, he say he's a beast. Of course he's a beast. Yeah, Rod Dollar. Dwayne Carter to the Bills. Of course. You see. You feel the energy. You feel the energy. D even Deke over here about to plus some blue and red. I can feel it, bro. I, don't know. I can feel it. I can feel it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, All right, yeah. Hey, talk about some Kansas City. Kansas City, who? All right. <laughs> yeah. That was tough. That was tough, man. That was tough. That was tough. Yeah, it, it did feel real slimy inside. Like, yo, why'd you trade with them? Ah. Yeah, that was a tough. Ah, one. They gave me all that feedback ah, over there, man. That's ah, a lot of speed. That's a lot of speed yeah. for that arm. That's a lot of speed. Yeah, I don't know. We gonna see. One. We gonna see. We we gonna find out. How is about he gonna that? be able to catch? Is the question? Yeah. Th now you talk about it. Can you catch? Let's find out. But I think I don't think he's that problem. Like I think he's. Out I of think he's all the, the routes. Speed, yeah. Mm. No, but uh, out of speed, I think he's one of the better ones. Like I think he's a receiver. No, no, you no. Know what I mean, I'm he's, with you in terms of catching. Receiver. Yeah, he's not like a track track. Like he can catch yeah, football. Yeah, he's not just track guy. Mm -hmm. He's not per se like no shots on a Dre Archer, but he's not Dre Archery. Marquis like, good when like those not, are the track dudes. Yeah, yeah, he's not good when he's not track guy. He's yeah. football player who's fast. Yeah, very true. Know? Like he's football fast. Like he's a football guy. Like I think you get a guy out of that. Yeah. Like I just wouldn't have did that. I wouldn't have did that. You remember back in the day, like. You didn't do that. You sent guys to like Buffalo. Like I feel like right now, like you yeah. send them to Carolina. Like I would have answered the phone for Carolina. <laughs> you said send the boys to Carolina. Send them yeah. to Tennessee. Yeah. 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 You don't send them to. You don't send them to Kansas City. Yeah. Now that's real. That's real. I respect that, man. I respect it. But I think it was just a sign to let everybody know that. The Bills ain't playing no games. All right. Man. So if they willing to do that, you know what time they on. Okay. Devin Haney did that. Hey, if they willing to do that, you know what time they on. That's all I'm saying, B. That's all I'm saying. Devin Haney did that. Nah, nah. Stop bringing up Haney, man. Stop bringing him up. Anybody but him. I don't want that one. Uh-uh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> don't do that. All right. all right. Devin Haney did that, man. I was just all uh, And look, and I'm over here trying to think of Spice who, who, who it worked out differently for them. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm drawing a blank because that. of the Haney. And yes, yeah. it's recency bias that was bad. It was yeah. real bad. Shout out to Garcia. I don't know if it was intentional. <laughs> it looked like it worked out perfectly, though. So, yeah. I just did. I didn't like that, bro. Um, I didn't like I didn't like that. I didn't like. I didn't like the Spencer Rattler story. I like. I think Spencer Rattler could have went a little bit higher. They really I dogged him out, though, bro. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like that they held him over that Netflix thing. Like that was a couple years ago, bro. You they know? like my man was in high school. Like, what what we doing, yeah. man? Because it was a time Spencer Rattler was the number one player. I remember. In the like supposed to be supposed to be like you know the, the guy. Hype. He was Caleb. Yeah. He was supposed to be Caleb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I thought that was tough. Um, no, I didn't love the. I didn't love the selling of the Bo Nicks. I'm not. I didn't jump on that Bo Nicks bandwagon. Like I don't think that's who Bo Nicks is. I think that that's. A it was tough great pick. for the Steelers. Six QBs no, in swear, the top twelve. Swear. Yeah. Open up the board for us. I thought Bo Nicks was like, you know, <laughs> I was gonna take a nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> but Bo Nicks is in like that tenuous field. You know what I mean, like. He's in that like you are wild. <laughs> Why are you doing this today, TG? Why are you doing this today, man? Just, just, but to me, that's the style. Like it's kind of that. Like 
Oh, what is man. the flavor? Oh, you know? man. Da, da. All right. Come on. Ah. I think J.J. McCartney's going to shine up there in uh, Minnesota. The Vikings, though. Yeah, I think he'll do well up there, though. Is Justin like, Jefferson happy with the pick? I think he'll be happy with that. Like, I think that. Cool he going to resign the contract? Because that's yeah, the, that's the thing right there. So he'll, he'll sign a deal now? They'll get him together. If 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 per se if the Steelers were presented with a Justin Jefferson, and they had to give away, uh, they had to give away like a GP, and they had to give away a Minka. Would you do that? No. You wouldn't do that. No. You for real? Yeah, I'm dead serious. I'm asking you. Dang. You wouldn't do that. No. All right, all right, D. Why wouldn't you do it? Let's. let's, let's I want to hear your answer first. Uh, I don't want to give up the best safety in the league and a receiver that, you know, I was close to top ten last year. It for should be number one. Should be number one. You know, top ten for the foreseeable future here, at least. Could be top five. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to give up those two catalyst pieces for Jefferson. I, Jefferson's damn good. I mean, if you're talking about multiple first round picks, I think that's a different story. I, I don't want to give up really good players that we already have here. Okay. 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 How you but, feel about it, TG? I mean, I would consider that, but I'm I'm with you. I feel that. I feel that. I kind of agree with you. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Would you do that? Yeah. See, I'm a little different, bro. I'm like, mm-hmm. man, what was the drop off from AB to the tenth best receiver when AB was here for those six years? Uh, AJ Green was it? AJ Green wasn't even tenth, but he probably was still. Top ten, top yeah, he's top five during that time frame. I'm trying to think, was a top ten receiver back then. Um, uh, Stevie Johnson, no, Buffalo Bill. Stevie Johnson was he out? I'm saying, like, where was he at in that range? Because he's back, he's three years in a row, thousand yard receiver. No, I I think some like Keenan Allen, probably. Mm. With the Chargers. Mm. GP is already there. Because I, mean, I think he, we're projecting, he, but he, he had 1,100 yards last year. Yeah, he was. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a case he should have made the Pro Bowl as an alternate. I, I think it's like Keenan Allen. So when I think of how AB was to us during that frame, that time frame versus like Keenan Allen, to me, I think that's a substantial gap. So that's why, like, thinking of Justin Jefferson, if we're just simply saying Justin for GP and Minka, I'm not saying it's not yeah, a fair like, deal. Yeah. I I don't want to give up Minka though. Yeah. No, I get y'all though. I definitely do. I promise I do. Leader For on me, defense. I, yeah, I, I, I like feel like the, that means a lot. Yeah, I, I could dig that, man. I could definitely dig it. I'm just looking at the points that are going to be scored, the excitement that Jess is going to bring. This is going to be like my Randy Moss out here, and I got me a quarterback that's going to definitely cook with him. That's that's my mindset. I'd rather just give a, a a pick or whatever it takes to get one of these other receivers we're talking about. Like if you if if you're mentioning. Trading like actual players we already got for yeah. Jefferson, I I'd, I'd rather just give up a pick or two and get Ayuk or DK or Higgins, whatever, and keep Pickens and yeah. keep Minka, no, I can and, definitely and give those that, give those dudes a contract that would be less than what Jefferson's going to be. But I I get it, just Jefferson just, is the best receiver in the league, so you are going to have to pay more for him. Because it's Justin, that's but for our roster, reason. I think yeah. it, I think it's be smarter for us to build that way. Yeah, as opposed to give up players. Yeah. Quality, quality players, foundational players to yeah. get Jefferson. Definitely smarter in terms of like if you're trying to build it up through the draft and keep everything consistent. But in terms of just if I'm just strictly just say what Justin brings versus those two, for me personally, it's like, yeah, I, I'm not tripping on that, man, because I'm going to go. I feel like I can get me another safety that's going to not be Minka. But he can at least do something on that side of the ball with the other pieces that I got. Whereas I think G with, with Justin Jefferson has already done in this league and what he could potentially still do. That's the part for me where I'm just like, I know I've seen what AB was doing or just the impact AB even being out there does. So yeah. Yeah. I'm stuck with that one, man. But it's just because it's that one. If it was a different receiver, I think it's a different combo. But we did say Justin Jefferson. That's the guy. I think we'd be missing a decent amount with Minka not being there on defense. I, I feel like we feel that impact whenever he gets hurt and stuff. Okay. I feel like that'd be pretty significant. And and this year too, with all the new pieces that we have around him, like I, I think this could be a big, big year for him. I'm with you on all that. When I think of just the hierarchy of like my team, quarterback, 
left tackle, pass rush, wide receiver, corner. Mm. Then at the now you're saying Huh? Now you're saying friend. Basically, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I'm I'm going to all my marquees. So I want to that 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 that. All right, I got the piece. Everything else is like, yeah, we could fall in, make it work. But I need those staples. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now you saying friend? I get yeah. you complete. That, uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I said I got my tackles. All right. I got my quarter. All right. I got my quarterback. Okay. All right. Don't forget it right here. I'm all right. Oh God, hey, we're gonna be straight. But like I said, that's my mindset. But it's just because of that receiver and because of the biasness of that era, the killer B situation, bro. It was just C and A B every bro, that it changed it, man. We know what I'll be interested like. to see what yeah. he does in uh, Minnesota this year with McCarthy, what his numbers look like and all that stuff. Yeah, I'll be really interested because Kirk was uh, a high-volume yeah. passer to Justin Jefferson. Absolutely. And I think Kirk at this point in his career, just even, even his career in yeah. general, he's, I think he's more of a gunslinger than what McCarthy's going to be early yeah. on. Now, McCarthy, I don't know. He, he could become yeah. that down the line, but... I think they're going to be running a way more conservative offense than they what they are. were with Kirk. You got a rookie quarterback comparing him to Kirk Cousins. You don't, re- y'all don't respect Kirk. That's why y'all playing with Kirk like that. He puts up numbers. I'm, I'm not going to disagree that he puts up numbers, but he doesn't win games. That's all well and good. It's a lot of quarterbacks out here that can't even put up numbers though. That's my whole thing. It's like Kirk, bro. God, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm interested to see if JJ can reach what Kirk even did in Minnesota. I think JJ is going to be nice. I think JJ is the greatest quarterback in Michigan history. Like I'm on board with. You know what I mean? I'm on he might board. be. I mean, he won a championship. He did win a championship, so like, but when, are you saying be. specifically college though? That's what you're saying. Because he can't be the greatest quarterback in Michigan history when Tom Brady played at Michigan. Man, he's the greatest quarterback in Michigan history. Man. He play it, bro. National championship. I think he might. Michigan, I'm not so, so, the, he so the greatest Michigan quarterback, not the greatest yeah, player to ever play quarterback that at went Michigan. to Michigan. No, yeah, you greatest, need to specify that. You see, the he's not. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, because he's trying to say that he's greater than Brady as well. At because Michigan. he won. I think. I think you're saying at Michigan, right? At Michigan. Yeah. Is it like specifically at, at Michigan. Yeah, they, yeah they, at Michigan. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They screwed Brady up at Michigan. But you can't Henson say he's the greatest stuff. Michigan quarterback because Brady also is a Michigan quarterback, bro. Man, I'm talking about at Michigan. That's yeah. why I said it like that. Yeah, yeah. I think he's right. All yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah, playing is wise, it, collegiately, yeah. Because Mich- Michigan hadn't won a championship in a minute. Nah. It was murmurs they would trade Justin Herbert for him. Like, <laughs> CTSPN was on that first. And it was Harbaugh that brought it up, bro. It was Harbaugh, man. <laughs> you know, it was it was murmur. <sighs> so you know, you know. Yeah, he landed in probably the best spot for him. Yeah, like that was the best I spot think for him. Perfect. Like, I think it's perfect. Yeah. But again, you know? I I will be interested. I don't know if Justin Jefferson is going to be getting you know sixteen, seventeen hundred yards like yeah. that. He could it just because he's that good, but I, I'll be interested to see how McCarthy runs the offense and but I how think, O'Connell calls the offense. But that's also why when I because I asked you this last week and that's or not last week, well Monday, and it's also why I asked TG. It's like, do you feel like JJ McCarthy getting drafted there is enough to make Justin Jefferson sign a deal because he hadn't signed anything because he wanted to know what they were doing at quarterback since they allowed Kirk Cousins to leave. So that's why I asked you at the beginning, TG, is this J.J. McCarthy pickup enough to make him stay? The way that you talking, you making it sound like well, J.J. ain't throwing no, it like that. He's not good to target. So no, it's like, I'll put it to you this why way. would you resign here then? Uh, Mc- or Jefferson could still get his money, obviously. like yeah. He's going to get mm-hmm. the highest paid receiver type of money here with his next contract. You don't got to sign that in Minnesota like, to do that. No, though. no. What I'm saying yeah. is, what I'm saying is you can get your money. And maybe your numbers aren't the same, but it, it all depends on what he cares about. If he just cares about the numbers, then yeah, maybe you want to go somewhere else. But you could get your money, and I still think the Vikings could win. I don't think they're gonna like lose anything in terms of their like contention status over in the NFC with McCarthy. So you feel like that? I think that Jay, I think Justin Jefferson is in the danger of this being Devontae Adams going to Oak or going to Vegas when it was 
uh, Derek Carr there, and then it switched to whoever is going to be there right now. It was like, yo, you signed the deal. Yeah, you got a quarterback. He's not the greatest, but you feel like, yo, he has a ton of potential or it can definitely get your stuff going. But there's still some stuff that, yeah, there's some questions about. He you still put up him, numbers with the Raiders, though. Bro, Raiders it it has not been the same, though, for him over there compared to how he was in Green Bay. No, Maybe the attention. That's what I, I don't know. I mean, he's, he's putting up big numbers. Big bro, numbers. They're, they're the same. They're same numbers. All I'm saying is for Devontae Adams, they just it been feels very different it for him that, in Vegas yeah, he doesn't than it Rogers. does in Green I'll, Bay. I'll give you that. But yeah, it's a night and day difference then. It's a night and day difference. You could put the numbers up, but you're not winning. He was putting numbers up there. That's what I'm talking about. Though. So I think the Vikings will saying. still win so with McCarthy. All right. Cool. We'll find out. I do think that, yeah. So it all comes down to what does Justin yeah. Jefferson want. The numbers may not be there for McCarthy's rookie year, or second year, but I think I think you're still well in winning. You could be you could be relevant over in the NFC. Could you get your thousand yards? And you and you got your money. Like you already signed your contract. So it's all it's so, it all about what it's so all about what, what you Minnesota want. Minnesota in their division right now. What are they like ranked? Yeah. Nah, we'll see. I mean they're 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 in the top three. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's gonna be a good division, so dude. Poor, I, bro. <laughs> it's gonna be a good division. So where are they? You got Detroit, you got Green Bay. Like where I mean, are even, they? Even the Bears are gonna be good this year. So with JJ McCarthy in Minnesota on paper right now, how do you see them do it in their division? They'll be relevant. I don't know. That's a, that's a toss up division. Uh, I think that's listen. The Vikings really only had one good, good year with Cousins. All the other years are like five hundred or like nine and eight, nine and seven. So I don't think it's that much of a stretch for me to say, ah, yeah, they they could be like nine and eight, ten and seven with JJ. Yeah, all right. They were relevant last year with the the combination of who was it? Dobbs and I'm with you. Whoever else was out there yeah. after Cousins went down. I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. Mm. I, I just think uh, you know. I think that's a good team. Like I think that's a good team. I think that I think it's a, a good tough team. division, though. Yeah, yeah, it is. I think it is a I'll tough that. division. It's a, I think it's a super tough division. That's why I'm trying you know? to figure out. Like, how does that work in that division? Like, what's Caleb? Did if JJ is all this, what is Caleb? Uh, no, he's gonna be really good. Yeah. Detroit was just in the NFC Championship last year. Yeah. You got Jordan Love and Green Bay, right? Yeah, I'm with you. That's a tough I'm just trying to figure it out. Like, all right. That's, That's why I say we'll career. find out. But if I'm Justin Jefferson and I'm looking at this situation right here, I'm trying to hear how all of that sounds like we're going to be doing something here with him. I think Justin Jefferson, from everything it sounds like, he's not really in that mode. He's in I want the most money mode. He's in bag mode. That you know is I mean? true, but he did say that he was not signing with Minnesota long term until he knew what the quarterback situation the quarterback was. was. And right. that was because of the Kirk Cousins scenario. So if that but was I what he said. It's a young gun, though. You know what I mean? It's a young gun. And I think I think he's trying to take, per se, once again, the biggest. He got to get the biggest number. You know that. Biggest number. You know? Let me get the most I can get. Let me get the biggest number in. Uh, it's going to be interesting, bro. It's going to be interesting. It'll be interesting, For sure. bro. For sure. Because then we'll obviously see with Caleb if he's going to live up to all of this because he got a lot of pressure on him. Yeah, he's going to be good. He's going to have a- <laughs> He's going to be good. It, it, it's going to be, Chicago, it's gonna be a really tough division. It's still Chicago, though. So I'm like, to an extent, we got it. It's not full on Cleveland, but you still got to like. I can see the Lions taking a step back this year. With Campbell? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, almost like the Jaguars last year. All right, new expectations. Do it again. Live up to the expectations. Well, it, it's different having, you know, NFC championship predictions and uh, are, are the Lions going to go to the Super Bowl type of stuff, like respect. being the talk. Not respect. I think they did a good good job last year because there was buzz about them heading into the yeah. season, and, you know, they, lived, they actually exceeded it. But, I would agree. All yeah. right. Consistently now, do it a couple years in a row, two, three, four years in a row, like back to back to back to back. Yeah, we'll see. And you hit it too, bro. Division championship expectations is way different than yo. You were just in the NFC Championship 
anything less than that, I lost we're in a devastating fashion too. Loki should have won it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think Minnesota's Minnesota like is not a sleep on them too, team. No, no, you, you know can't I mean? sleep on them. No, like yeah, actually, on uh, yeah, you could tell me right now. Probably but, Bears would be the least likely to win the division, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if any team in the NFC North won. Yeah, because like if you Green told me Bay, Green Bay Detroit, won the division, like, oh, okay, yeah, I could see it. Like, if you told me Minnesota won, I, yeah, I could see it. Green Bay, even the Detroit, Bears, Detroit, Lions, obviously, I, I, I could yeah. see any of those teams winning the division. I think that's like that's the big East of the NFL right now. Mm, you know? Okay. I think that's no, not the Big East. I mean, more say like I think it's us in that group. AFC North yeah, and yeah, NFC like North, probably top two top divisions. Team, yeah, like we the SEC, they the ACC. There you go. <laughs> that's the Big Ten to me. The Big Ten. That's right. like they kill each other off type conference. Respect. You know, run the ball, pound you out, real physical, kill you out. Yeah. Like yeah, man. Detroit will be tough. That's all. I'm like yo. Uh. That's a dope division. They didn't pick it up, man. Shout out to the division over there, man. Yeah. I think this AFC North is tough too. That's though. what I'm saying. Like AFC North, yeah. NFC North. What else are, what other division yeah. are you feeling like like that? Uh AFC West, maybe? With Harbaugh out there now with the Chargers. Harbaugh's out there. I think Harbaugh's yeah. day. Yeah. Harbaugh yeah. Char- Chargers, Raiders, Chiefs. Raiders, Broncos holding them back a little bit. Oh, good call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot Broncos still figuring it out. Man, Harbaugh's dangerous out there, man. He got a tackle. No, no, he is. No, no, but what we're saying is it's just 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 Chargers and Chiefs, though. That's what we're saying. We think those are the only teams, like, because Raiders are questioning right now what they're doing. Still got big question at quarterback. And then with the Broncos, Bo Nix and Zach Wilson, like, ah. I think the Broncos are going to take a minute. But Harbaugh sneaky (laughs) grabbed the Blake Corum and nobody (laughs) nobody realized. I respect the Blake. Yeah. (laughs) No, wait, did he get him or did L.A. get him? I know they. He, they I know no, they, Harbaugh no, he got Bolson. Yeah, that's what he got. Yeah, the other linebacker. Good call. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Harbaugh got him. I think the yeah. Raiders got him because I was calling him a uh, Akeem Akers type. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, because I'm trying to think. AFC South. No. I guess AFC South is better than what they typically are, at least. But you still got questions in Tennessee, and we're waiting on your yeah. boy A. Rich. I think. And, uh, yeah, I think Titans Indy. are the worst. Of- yeah, that division. Like I sure. would take the Vikings with JJ McCarthy over that. But Titans. Colts were what in the playoff mix until the Rich. last week of the season with Minshew last yeah. year, and, and now you got Texans Richardson coming it. back, so it should be yeah. better. Jaguars, who knows what happens with them? But yeah, you'll have Trevor Lawrence healthy, add some pieces for him. That division's not not bad. I wouldn't say it's the worst division. Yeah, anymore. I would agree. It usually is, but NFC, NFC, NFC South, South bro. NFC is. South, bro. Yeah. yeah, NFC South is bad. They're struggling right now. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. I like it. I like it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Like, this is the best time of year. Everybody no, thinks swear it is. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> nice. You know that. Hey, they got them draft picks. All the draft picks go ahead. Everybody yeah, nice. Everybody, everybody go work out. <laughs> like, man, he's nice. Yeah. Man, he's going to be the best tackle. Everybody's every like, yep. Yeah. All the you first know, rounders have all worked out. All second rounders yeah. all work out. Everybody works out. This is the you're right. This is the fun time. I like this optimism. Peak. Peak That's optimism the part right now. It's all there. Yeah. It's all there. Yanni brings you know up I mean? the AFC East with the Bills and the nah, Jets. Right seven now. Rogers coming back and but the Dolphins. Patriots. Patriots is the weak link right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jets with yeah. Rogers coming back. Any thoughts on that, TG? <laughs> Yeah, the sheriff's back. And, and the, the the impact on the AFC East race? <laughs> the back. He got all the cool nicknames. Sheriff, People's Champ, Ayahuasca, yeah. Butterman, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, 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 he got all the nicknames. Oh, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, hey, look, look, look. Is, is he going to cosplay when he come to training camp this time? Is he going with the, the mustache or is he going with the mohawk? What's he going for this year? He he make all of the cool clips. I I, I can't he wait to like that. the walk. I'm going to like the walk in. He's on his John Wick. Oh, like, now he's no, John he's Wick. Ca- yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, I, I, I can't wait to double like that pick. All right, come on. Drop the John Wick. John Wick. Yeah. <laughs> don't come like that. Y'all gave us a whole offseason, a whole hard knocks nice rollout. I was like, all right, bro. Just, just for it to be the same team winning the division for the fourth year in a row. TG, I'm tired of getting these bills, AFC, 
East Championship T-shirts, man. Okay, yeah. I'm t- I- I'm running out of spot. Year. I'm like, bro, I need it. It's been four years in a row. Like, can we switch you it up? It Come year. on, bro. It's been four in a <laughs> row. You don't, get, you don't gotta worry about it this year. You I, I, get it this year. It's been four in a row, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's like, man, what we waiting on, man? <laughs> the boys gonna put you out your misery. Don't hey, look, what we waiting on, man? Y'all told us last year was the misery. year. Y'all said last yeah. year was the year. They said the year before that was the year. Like, come on, what we waiting on, man? Man, they, they made them realize they had to get some line in there. They, they was like, yo, they said, yo, it's Tyreek Hill. They scored 70 points on Denver. Oh, okay. All right. Let's find out about the speed guys then. All right, cool. Man. You yeah. see Odell just waiting for him for uh, Aaron Rodgers to be officially officially <laughs> know it's good. And go hey, 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 that's what we if y'all if, if y'all rolling out a Rodgers and Odell's and hey hey man, more power to you, baby, more power to you. All right. <laughs> all I know is uh, the Bills weren't supposed to win it. All they lost to Zach Wilson last year in the first game last year, bro. How the heck they find a way to win the division? I I just don't know. How did that happen? How did that happen? I just don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I just don't know, man. Was, it, it I just don't know, man. I just don't know. It can't be that <laughs> week. Very good. Two teams in the playoffs. It was weak last year. Sure, you, had the, you had the number two team in the whole AFC. The number two ranked team in the whole AFC was in the playoffs. That shit. What are we talking about, man? <laughs> it was a darn year. <laughs> Had the MVP runner up, should have been winning. Snubbed. Craziness, man. It's craziness. Cool. <laughs> my dog. <laughs> hey, but anywho, man, I had just looked down and realized you've been on this drink for about day, no, an hour and twenty, about be hour and thirty. So, my dog, we definitely appreciate you tapping in with us always, man. But uh, yeah, we're gonna spin the block, man. Get back with you next week, man. All good, all good. But yeah, man, definitely appreciate you rocking with us, baby. Oh my God, my, my dog. dog. Peace, bro.